Almost deflection on that third dart. You guys ready for this one? Incredible review today. We've got the Caliburn Han darts, and the review begins right now. Okay guys, darts review time. I have an amazing video planned for you today. I gotta admit, I'm pretty excited about this one and I hope you just enjoyed that intro that I pieced together. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do yet. However, I did borrow a couple clips from the Caliburn YouTube page. I'm gonna have a link down below in the pinned comment, take you over to their page. You can check them out. They only have a few videos, but um, it's worth a look if you find yourself bored. But yeah, in today's video, I'll be reviewing the Caliburn Han darts now these are from the Pro Player Series, and to be honest, I'm not even sure who the guy is. I'll put a video clip over there that I borrowed from the Caliburn YouTube page. Don't know who the guy is, and probably if I did know his name, I probably couldn't pronounce it, but that's him. All I know is, man, he has a beautiful set of darts, doesn't he? I mean, these things in person look way better, so uh, I hope the video is kind of showing off how, how nice they are. But in person, wow, one of the nicer sets of darts I've ever seen. Now, in case you're wondering, you know, where do you get these things? I've been told by Caliburn, I'll put a clip or a screenshot over here. They should be available at, um, where is it, Darts Corner, but in the next month or so. So I'm not a fan of Darts Corner ever since they changed their website. However, when they do become available, they're gonna have them 21, I'll put a screenshot over there again, 21, 23, and 25 grams. There's the dimensions, they're all 50 millimeters. And the width is going to vary depending on what weight you get. However, with Darts Corner redesigned website, expect the price to be pushing 100 US dollars. So that's a bit unfortunate there. Certainly not a cheap set of darts. But with all that being said, let's hop into the rest of this video, guys. I'm really anxious to show these darts to you. I mean, I just think they're, man, it doesn't get too much better than this, does it? So uh, yeah, let's hop into everything. Stats and dimensions, close up look grip level rating then i'm going to get them on the board throw them for a bit and i'll let you know what i think of the caliburn han darts here we go okay guys i want to start off by saying hopefully you've watched the matrix dart review that i uploaded a couple weeks ago and that i followed that up with a melody darts review that i did i don't know about a week or so ago and if you've watched those two videos you'll know that the packaging here pretty much the same thing a little bit different design but i mean everything the contents the same, we've got the same pull-out tray. Inside, we've got this metal Caliburn pin, which you can wear on your shirt. And they also came with two sets of flight protectors. However, these darts have specialty points, so you're not gonna need those flight protectors. So they're gonna stay right in the box. But you guys came to see these darts and check out, wow, check those out. I mean, come on, right? That is a beautiful set of darts. Let's start with the points up here. Have you ever seen a nicer set of points? on a stock set of darts, 32 millimeter Han points. But yeah, checking out the barrel, got some multi rings up front with a gold coating and got some little dots machined into the barrel. Got a smooth section with some micro multi rings and we've got some Chinese lettering there. I have no idea what that says. And then on the back, look at this grip, something different there, guys. Never felt anything quite like it. And yes, it is as grippy as it looks. Back end, we've got three multi-rings. We've got the Caliburn logo here. As far as the stems go, short length stems in this on this set, 39 millimeters, not including the threads. And then on the back end, we've got some Caliburn standard size flights. And of course they do come with the uh, stem ring there. So let's go into the next clip and I'll hit you with all the stats and dimensions you need to know. But man, what a beautiful looking set of darts there. Wow, stats and dimensions time. Okay, so you guys ready for some rotating stats and dimensions here? We're going to start with the points like we always do here in this channel. I tell you what, 
These come with the nicest set of points I've ever seen on a stock set of darts. These are the 32 millimeter Han points, and what that means is 32 millimeters is showing or sticking out of the front of the barrel, and that's the equivalent to a regular 37 millimeter point. So yeah, we got some really long points on these darts. Now, as far as the barrels go, 90% tungsten, the barrel length coming in at 50 millimeters even, and the barrel width at the widest point right on the smooth section here, 6.7 millimeters wide. But since these are a front loaded dart, they taper, they gradually taper as they get towards the rear of the barrel. Right in the middle here somewhere, about 6.4 millimeters wide, and right at the back of the barrel, right where it meets the stem, 5.8 millimeters wide. So yeah, definitely a front loaded barrel. Now I unscrewed the stem, checked out how deeply the darts are drilled out, and they were drilled out exactly 13 millimeters deep. Now as far as the match weight goes, they're advertised at 21 grams. However, keep in mind, they do have the specialty points on there, so they're gonna be slightly over 21 grams, but guess what? They get their own video clip, and you guessed it, perfect match weight. So let's roll into that clip. Okay, guys, it is Sunday afternoon. I've been sitting down at my desk watching some PDC darts. We've got the start of the semifinal here. Stephen Bunting, Gerwin Price, just kicking off at the Players' Championship 18. Well, I decided to start this review. So this is the first clip that I'm filming. I just took the darts out of the package. I was checking stats and dimensions there with the digital calipers. And now we're going to check the weight. But I tell you what, a lot of darts on the channel recently have been perfect match weight or the match weight has been really, really close. Just goes to show me that so many companies are stepping their game up, right? The quality control has been pretty much better than I've ever seen it. So 2114 on the first barrel. And I don't think these are going to be perfect, but they should be pretty close. Oh yeah, that one just flickered. When, that, when the dart settled, it went to 2114. So there's two at 2114 in the third barrel. Wow, all right, there you go, 2114, perfect match weight. But look at this, I gotta remind you guys, look at all the machining there, and we've got these long specialty points. For everything to be perfect with this much machining, wow, that is a job well done. So yeah, well done, Caliburn, perfect match weight on the Han darts. Wow, well done. Alrighty guys, let me do my best here to describe the grip on this barrel for you. And I would say, obviously, by looking at the barrel, it's designed for a mid-gripper to mid-rear gripper. Definitely this section is probably where you're supposed to grip the barrel. I suppose you could grip up front, but I mean, we've got the smooth section there, and who wants to grip onto the smooth section? Yeah, definitely not, not intended to be gripped up front. But yeah, talking about this section right through here, wow. Those are some sharp, sharp edges. This milling, yeah, is incredibly sharp. Check this out. Digs right into your fingertips. And I'll go ahead and give it a grip level 3.9 on a scale of 1 to 5. Definitely offers a ton of grip. Now, speaking of sharp edges here, we can move towards the point. One of the sharpest points I've ever seen on a stock set of darts. I mean, these points, you got to be careful there. You will bleed. But look how beautiful those points are. We've got a perfect transition from point to barrel, so no lip there. We've got the no lip gang darts. And that is one beautiful set of darts, isn't it? Our beautiful set of barrels, wow. Now, I was gonna throw them stock just like you see them, but we've got the gold coating up front. So check this out. For the throwing part of the video, we're going to deep six those and we're going to add on the Condor Axe Metallic, Golden Metallic, and what do you think of that? Yeah, that's a nice setup. Holy crap, that looks nice. Wow, I don't dare to hold the edge like I normally do like that because Oh man, look at that. I will bleed. So you got to be careful of those points, that's for sure. But let's get them on the board and we're going to throw them just like you see them. And hopefully they're flying well. So here we go. Han darts. Okay, guys, here we go. I just had a quick, I don't know, six, seven minute warm up. And I have to admit there for a couple minutes, I was in rhythm and the darts were performing a little bit better than expected. A lot of you guys know, generally, I don't prefer a grippy barrel. However, when I was at the line, I just had to remind myself, nice light touch, don't squeeze the barrel too hard, because when I did, I would certainly shank one to the left. But hey, otherwise, they're throwing really well. They pair up perfectly with the Condor Axe. These are the standard size, as you saw in the last clip, but we'll see how this goes. Five random throws. All right, 
or off, light touch. Ooh, right on the bottom wire. Hey, I think I got a lucky deflection there. Oh, you know, these points are so thin that you could barely see them from back here, but that is a 100. Nice deflection on the uh, second dart. Hey, deflections can either be bad or good. Hey, that was an, an that was an example of a good deflection, wasn't it? We'll take those any day of the week. Oh, right on that top wire. Oh, all right, come on. Third dart saver on a deflection. Nice. Oh, my grip, did I, did I mention my grip? Point to finger and thumb, right behind the smooth section. So I'm right in the middle of the barrel on the balance point. Seems to work well. Come on, that didn't feel comfortable. There we go, good recovery. Ah, there we go, that's why they give you three darts. Never worry about a bad first dart because you know, obviously in the single five, but I turned that into a 125. So yeah, never let yourself get upset with a crappy first dart. Actually turned out to be a good turn. What was that, three? A couple more here. Try to concentrate, light grip, let it go. Man, that was a bullet standing straight out of the board, which is kind of odd for a front-loaded dart. You'd think they'd be standing up more, but... I just think I need a little more time with these. I don't mind that when it's standing or sticking out of the board at a 90, 90 degree angle. I can, it feels like I should be able to get right over the top, and I did. Wow, that is a 140 somehow. I'll try to show you. Again, these long points, they group so, so tight, and the points are really thin. Unreal. Look at that. Can you see that? Those points were touching. Oh, and the one negative, I'll say this really quick before my last turn, but the points are too sharp. I've actually um, poked myself a couple times because when I'm standing on the line, I hold them. The points are into my pinky like that. Can you see that? So I just have to grab the darts. But yeah, the points are way too sharp. I would recommend maybe you use one of these little, I don't even know what you call it, one of these stones and, I don't know, try to dull up the points a little bit I actually had a couple bounce outs too off the bullseye, which those were the first one and two bounce outs I've had since I owned the board. So the sharper your points, the more bounce outs you're gonna get. All right, last turn. I think I've had some pretty good turns so far, so I'm sure this is gonna be a 41. <laughs> uh, 55 maybe? Forced to go cover. Oh, well, hey, it was all going pretty good there for a while. What is that? Oh, another tight group, though. So that was a 49. We're not going to end with a 49. We should. All right, concentrate. I think I was gripping the dart too tight. So light, light touch. Yeah, there we go. Light touch. Can I get over that one? There we go. We'll end with that one. Oh. Third dart saver. <laughs> there it is. All right, so six turns. Five of them were pretty good. That one, not so good. But uh, yeah, there you go, guys. I had a blast throwing these things. Warm-ups were a little bit better, but in warm-ups, I'm also not trying to talk to a camera. So we've got one more clip for you. We've got the nice tight 180 coming. We'll do a quick wrap up and we're out of here. Hope you enjoy it so far. Here we go. <laughs> Boom, get in there. Nice deflection on the second dart. You guys saw the first one. That was a third, and there was the lucky number two on the deflection. 
But there it is, guys. Hope you enjoyed the close-up look and review of the Caliburn Hondarts. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. And before I forget, probably in the next month or so, these will be available at Darts Corner, I think. 21, 23, and 25 grams, somewhere in the vicinity of 100 US dollars. So yeah, again, not cheap. But um, I guess, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for the video, guys. Since these aren't available, I normally give these a recommendation on how well I think they're gonna work for a recreational dart player. I'm gonna skip that, but what I wanna hear from you guys is, if you had your pick, the Caliber and Han, or I don't even know where I put them. Oh, hold on a second. I'll go to my box of darts. So we got the Caliburn Han, or there they are, the Melodies. And I'll put a picture up over there. Which ones would you prefer? If it was me, man, I don't know. I, I think I'm liking the Hans a bit more. I think I like this front-loaded version a little bit more than a fat bomb-shaped barrel. But yeah, comment down below. Let me know if you had your choice, whichever set you wanted, Melodies or the Hans. Comment down below. We'll see you on the next video. Later.